Okay, the uh, delivery man dropped off my lift. And we're going to be opening this package and seeing what's all in there and get ready to install it on my truck. Okay, I laid out all these parts and I'm trying to make sense of it. The, uh, the instructions are very vague. The pictures are terrible. And... We're just going to have to muddle through it and figure it out. So I laid out a few things here just to try to get make some sense of this thing. And as I put it together, I'll show you how I progress. So I put this bit here together. And so I'll get a good shot of this. So you can figure out which piece that is. Can you see? So these two pieces supposedly goes together. I don't know if I have them in the right direction. I might have to turn them around later on, but this is what I got so far. So I installed the next couple of pieces. Trying to be logical about it. if you can figure out what I did, how I did it. And this may be wrong. I may have to change all this, but so far, so good. Okay, so I extended the legs on this thing so I can give it a little stability. And I turned it around backwards so I can get to the other side of it. And then I'm going to start uh, assembling from there. So a little bit at a time, we'll get this thing together. Okay, this is the next piece, and you see where that, that hook there is on the top. I just bolted it in right there. I'm not tightening anything because I don't know how it actually goes. We're just seeing how it all gets there. I had to change the position of the uh, center bar to the top hole in that bracket. So it's right here. I had to put it in the top hole. I had it in that lower hole, but then I found, figured out that these uh, pieces here had to go into the small, uh, the lower holes. So I'm not tightening down anything because I don't know how it fits. And like I said, the instructions are very vague, but maybe someone who buys this lift uh, <clears throat> will see how I'm doing this and get an idea how it goes together. So anyways, I'll show you the next step.
So I believe I messed up with the bolts on this one because I didn't know where they went. <laughs> but I believe uh, now upon studying it out more, take this center bar, lay it back, and then where I got these two bolts here and here, I need to put one long bolt across there and I'll do it for the bracket down at the bottom too with, between these two here so let me get that together and show you how that goes Okay, so this is what I come up with. I had to put in short bolts here, long bolt in the middle, another short bolt on the outside, and I did the same thing for the bottom, like that. Like I said, I don't know if this is right yet, that's why I'm just fitting it up first before I start to tighten anything. And we have this uh, piece here with the hook on it. Well, not a hook, but something for the cable to hook to, I, I imagine. So I believe I had all the uh, these uh, bars at the bottom upside down. So if you got red stickers on them, make sure all your red stickers are pointing down. So I flipped all this stuff around here. Like I said, I still don't know if it's going right, but a little at a time, a little at a time, and we'll get this going on. So I'm still struggling with this thing, but little by little, I'll give you some pictures here, or, or some video here of how I put it together so far. And let's try putting the deck on now. Okay, hopefully this uh, helped give some clarity on how to put this together. I've changed things around two or three times. We know on this bar here, this bar has to go on top. These bars go on the bottom. And so, bottom, top. These takes long shoulder bolts, but it's, this one's a shorter one than the one on the bottom. And that's a long shoulder bolt. In fact, both of these are the same. That's a short bolt, shoulder bolt. I mean, a long shoulder bolt, shorter than the, that one. And same way on this end here. It's all a guessing game.
And of course, when I get this thing mostly assembled, guess what happens? I find my flaw. And here it is right here. I have to take this bracket here and take these three bolts out and turn it upside down so I can, uh, obviously I have to put the winch on top for this thing to function right. And so this whole end here has to be flipped over. These two legs here on the landing gear has to be flipped over too for them to work right. And that's easily done by taking those pins out and just turning them over. It's no problem at all. Okay, this thing is all assembled and I'm back on the truck. In fact, I've had it on here for days. And just wanted to show you how what it looks like when it is on the truck. As I was uh, telling you before, had to take this part of the, the hitch and flip it all over so you got this bar you can see how that goes you got to make sure that your winch is at the top and it bolts into that hook there with the cable and that's it, really. So I hope this helps if you ever buy one of these. It is a good, good lift, really good lift. But the instructions are awful and makes you, if you don't have two days to work on it, then this winch might not be for you. So if you like my videos, and I hope you do, I hope this uh, little instructional video for the lift works out for you. Click that bell for more notifications, subscribe, and please share this with all your friends and everybody you know so I can make more videos.